night and today I have with me um, Kylo. He's five years old and he's a golden doodle. And in this session, I'm going to show you what I do with uh, pet Reiki for dogs. Um, and right now he is relaxing here in the sun, in the warm sun of Virginia, sunny Virginia. Um, and so Reiki helps to release and let go of any residual energies that are not good for the pet. Uh, so if he's been feeling kind of under the weather or if he's, uh, you know, not himself, you know, Reiki can assist with that. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and start with my selenite stick. This is uh, a raw selenite stick. It's a crystal that's used to clear away any of that residual energy I was talking about. Uh, it should never get wet. It helps to clear the aura. Um, it also helps with clearing migraines and headaches. And it doesn't need to be cleared and it shouldn't be wet at all. So we're going to go ahead and start here on his head. Oh, sorry, bud. Now, sometimes the pet does not want to be pet, and that's fine. <laughs> and it seems like he wants me to work in distance, so I can do that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and sit down. Yeah. He's going to sit right down, and I'm going to use the stick in, in distance. So, um, all right. So I put my hands up right here because it's not invasive to him and he's sitting calmly. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and send the Reiki energy through my hands um, towards his crown chakra, which is a little bit above his head right now. Um, and his crown chakra feels pretty good right now, actually. Yep, there he is. Oh, and that's a good sign when they start relaxing that way that the energy is helping him to relax and be calm. While he's there, I'm just gonna go ahead and sweep his aura right now with the selenite stick. So, here we go. Now what I'm doing here, and he woke up, what I'm doing here is just scanning his body, which he is curious, so I'm gonna step back a bit. I'm trying to use the selenite stick to help just to scan his body and his chakras to see if there's any energy blockages. So the crown's good. We're going to check the throat chakra in the distance here. He's doing pretty good because he likes to bark. So he's got a really clear voice going on here. And sometimes you see my hands shake and that means that the energy is coming through my hands. Um, it's just something that comes naturally for me when I send energy in general. My hands tend to shake. I'm also seeing some rainbow light here in, the, in his throat chakra right now. Um, just, you know, it explains to you what I'm seeing, that is. So throat chakra is good. We're going to go down to his heart chakra area. He's also telling me right now that I'm hearing that he's, um, he feels pretty good in his heart chakra. He said, no, my heart's good. Um, we're just checking the energy. Heart chakra is good. And now we're going to go to his solar plexus area right here, which is around this area. You can see again, he is relaxing. So that's a good sign. Just checking his solar plexus here. Solar plexus is good. And we're going to the sacral chakra around this area. I actually heard him saying he's a little hungry. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
sacral chakra and then um, and then now going down to his root chakra which is here and then that is feeling pretty good actually um, I didn't sense anything of blockages no blockages in Kylo. He seems to be a pretty happy dog. Very happy, very loved. So again, <laughs> he keeps looking every single time I bring the cell next stick over. And when I do the cell night stick, you know, I basically try to um, bring in any energy that's not for him from his body and having it come through, you know, through the selenite stick. So it's picking up that way. Right? And so some pets don't need a lot of energy. They just need a little bit. Some need a few minutes, some need 30 minutes. It really just depends upon what the pet goes through. Um, and here we are. Now, if the pet was to have any, any issues, for example, let's say he had a, a paw, a foot problem, you know, I would just focus on that particular area and just, you know, send the Reiki through his, to his foot or paw, but he doesn't have any issues, so this is good. And so he's relaxed. And so basically that concludes the uh, dog Reiki that I do for um, pets. I also do cats as well, and I can do this in person and virtually. So if you are interested in a Reiki energy session for your pet, please feel free to contact me. It'll be in the description, and please don't forget to subscri subscribe. Thank you.